Hi guys, Holly Milliken from South Grafton High School here, bringing you my second video for 2022 on making maths fun. Now in this video, I'm going to take you through three different activities to help engage your students in learning algebra. Now algebra is one of my all time favorite topics to teach because there are so many teaching techniques which can be utilized to help students really increase their critical and creative thinking skills and really engage that algebraic style of thinking with students and really increase students' algebraic thinking skills. Now this first activity is Solve Me Mobiles and is a long time favorite of mine for introducing algebra to my students. This activity is really great for students to begin creating that association between numbers and shapes, which can later morph into numbers and letters or variables. Um, by supporting students to engage in puzzle activities, the anxiety of introducing these new variables to them is often removed or at least lessened with using this sort of activity to really introduce algebra. On coming into Solve Me Mobiles, you are given two options, to play or to build. Now, I will always have my students play first to get the general concepts and then build once they feel confidence. Clicking into the play, students can access a range of levels from explorer through to master. Now, there are two types of puzzles, those with the number in the circle up the top and those without. In each type of puzzle, the ultimate goal is the same, to use your algebraic reasoning skills to allocate each of the shapes in the puzzle the appropriate number to keep the mobile in balance. Now, the mobiles with the numbers up the top need to total the number in the circle. So, for example, if we click into this one, we see that our number is 10, so we know that to keep this in balance, each of our shapes must be 5. Uh, if we accidentally put in 4 here, we can see that the mobile is out of balance. Once you think you have the answer correct, hit submit up the top and you get a lovely sound if you have it correct. Uh, the same is for the puzzles without the numbers, but this one doesn't have a total you need to reach, just keeping it in balance. Now, these ones obviously are quite easy, being the initial puzzles here. As students work through these puzzles, they do increase in difficulty. So you can see here, uh, they start getting more complex with more shapes included and larger numbers up the top as well. If your students are feeling particularly adventurous, they can go to the master ones, uh, which do get quite difficult. I generally tend to have a few students who go all the way to 200, or skip all the way to 200, I should say, and attempt to solve this big one here. A few times I have um, gotten the class to work together as a whole to try and solve this one, uh, it is a, a bit of fun. The New South Wales Department of Education has actually released a resource which can accompany the use of this website. I use the department resource as a bit of a guide to make my algebra pre-assessment using this task. Now initially students are required to solve the first 10 problems. Um, pretty standard showing their working out and their solution so usually they say the love heart equals three, the circle equals four, and so on and so forth. Um, however, as we move through the task, students are asked to explain their reasoning and show their thinking. So this really gets those, you know, critical and creative thinking skills and actually forces students to, or encourages students to uh, really think about, well, why does the heart equal three? Why does the circle equal four? And how did I get there? Um, I will often have them complete this section in pairs or small groups so they can explain their thought process to their peers as well. Now the final section of this part of the resource is actually having students build their own mobiles. Um, they can either do this in the website um, or on the paper here and I find that they really get quite into it and they get quite intricate with their thinking when they get the opportunity to create their own mobile. Uh, we often will have a challenge 
in the class of who can create the hardest mobile and who can then have someone from a different group or a different team um, solve theirs. This activity was recently introduced to me by a colleague and I was immediately enthused by the potential that this activity had to really engage students and not only their algebraic thinking skills, but also their logic. To be successful in this activity, your students do need a sound understanding of how substitution works and a sound understanding of the four operations. Let's take a look. To begin, in pairs, students are given this template and told to allocate the numbers 1 to 9 to the letters A to J. Students are then to present their partner with a number sentence using letters in place of numbers. For example, if I asked my partner A plus B and they responded with B, I would know that A equals 0. So I could fill this in up the top in the my partner's numbers spot. Now this continues until you have all of the clues for your partner's letters. The only other answer that your partner is able to give, aside from a letter answer, is not included. So if, for example, my partner asked me, so the person on the right asked me, the person on the left, I plus J. Obviously, we know that that's 16, but that is not one of our included numbers, so I would just say not included. Now, this in itself gives your partner quite a few clues as to where the bigger numbers may be sitting. This activity can be adapted to any sort of level of class or year group. For my top year 10 class, I would have it that they only get one guess of all of their partner's letters and that that guess has to happen all at the same time, so all at once. And if they get it wrong, it's an automatic loss. Now, this makes it so that they're not rushing through, they're careful, they're very certain about each of the letters before they make their guess. For a lower ability class or a lower year level, I might either make it so that their students get to guess each letter individually or they get multiple attempts at guessing each of the letters. And if you are short on time and it's one of those things you're thinking about last minute, it's super easy to chuck the template off to the side and have students draw two 10 by two lots of boxes in their books and go from there. It doesn't have to be as fancy as the template, but I will provide a digital copy for you. This last activity is a bit of a spin on the old colour by number. It's a really great activity that I have found uh, to keep kids productive during those last period lessons where more structured work may not necessarily suit your class. For this activity, students take eight different colours and associate each of their colours with a like term. Uh, once they have completed the page, uh, it reveals a hidden message, which they all love. Now, this activity is one that I did get off Teachers Pay Teachers. It is currently free on the site uh, through Athena's Workshop, who is the creator. So jump on that one. Uh, so combining the like terms, this page here is what is initially printed out and this is the sneaky message which once all of the like terms are coloured incorrectly is shown to the students which they will either love or hate that they've written I love math. If you simply want your students to identify the like terms, handing them eight different coloured pens or pencils and having them just go through and identify which of these are like terms is a great activity in itself. If you wanted your class to step up from that, a higher level class or students who are really wanting to extend themselves, there are a couple of questions down the bottom uh, which can be gone through as well. So there you have it guys, three different activities to help engage your students in learning algebra. If you would like any of these resources that I have mentioned in this video, please just drop a comment down the bottom of this video. I would be more than happy to send them through to you. To keep up to date with all of my latest videos, please like this video and subscribe to the Teacher Acer YouTube channel. See you next time.